Hey guys, got a question about BMI. What is it? Uh, is it useful? Is it not? So BMI stands for body mass index. And basically the way that you get that digit is you divide your weight by your height. So for example, your weight in kilos uh, divided by your height in centimeters. So I did mine just to, to use as a reference here. So my weight in kilos is 75 and my height in centimeters is 178. So I took that digit the, the weight, 75 divided by 178, and it spits out a body mass index number, which is 23.7. So underweight, they have categories of underweight, normal weight, overweight, and obese. So underweight would be anything under 18.5. Normal weight would be 18.5 to 24.9. Overweight, 25 to 29.9. And then obese is anything over 30. So my digit came back at a 23.7, which is at the high end of the normal range. So if I, I mean, a 1.3% increase and I would be considered overweight, which is uh, kind of skewed. Um, so you don't want to look too far into BMI if you are, if you're not in the extremes of the ranges. So say if you're not noticeably underweight or you're not noticeably overweight. For people that are noticeably underweight or noticeably overweight, the BMI can be a useful tool. But for those people that are kind of in the middle ground, it can be a little bit skewed because if you have, say, a ton of muscle and low body fat, because the digit, it's just kilos divided by your height, it doesn't take into account um, the amount of muscle mass you have. It's just strictly a weight thing by a height thing. So you could be 250 pounds with very low, you know, say single digit body fat, and you might come out in the overweight or obese category just because it, it doesn't take that lean muscle mass versus fat into account. So um, you want to take it with a grain of salt. If you're in that middle ground, I like to go by how are you looking, how are you feeling, how are you performing. I think that's a better measurement as opposed to the BMI. Again, unless you're at the extreme low range and the extreme high range, then it can be a useful tool. But um, like I said, if you're in the middle ground, you might just want to look at how do you look, feel, and perform. Uh, you can use the scale alone um, and different things like that. You can use the mirror, all that sort of stuff. But uh, you just want to be careful and not put too much emphasis on the BMI because it doesn't take in uh, the important factors into account being muscle mass and the amount of body fat you have. So that's it. Quick question. If you've got any future questions for Q&As or just videos, hit me up and hope you learned something. Thanks guys. See ya.